bright cutie every student matters um let's just solve these questions these are again the simple ones we are going to cover everything that we have learned so far in these questions okay these are just the practice questions sitting together starting with 2 over 3 plus 1 over 7 so the first step says itself please work out the equivalent fractions for us so 2 over 3 and 1 over 7 we need to convert them with the same denominator so the lcm is 21 we write them at the denominators 3 times 7 and 7 times 3 gives the answer 21 so here comes 14 and here comes 3 at the numerator respectively now what is 14 over 21 plus 3 over 21 simple we add the numerators so 4 5 6 7 it's 17 over 20 One. This is our answer. Clear? Let's do the next one. It is three over ten plus seven over four fifteen. So three over ten and seven over fifteen. Let's see how we can convert them into a common denominator. So ten and fifteen. What is the LCM of ten and fifteen? Both of these numbers are there in five times tables. So this comes. Two and this comes out to be three. Now we cannot have a further. We cannot solve it further as two and three have got different. Have got no common factor. So it is five. So the LCM comes out to be thirty, right? So now what is fifteen times to give thirty and what is ten times to get to thirty? Here it comes three and here we get a two. Okay. So here the numerator comes out to be nine and here it will be fourteen. Now let's write it here. Nine over thirty plus fourteen over thirty gives the answer thirty itself, and nine plus fourteen. So what is nine plus fourteen? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So it is twenty-three over thirty. So this is the answer. I hope clear. We have a clear idea how to solve these simple questions. Which are working with the unlike fractions. Let's practice some more. It's four over nine and two over seven. So four over nine and two over seven. So nine and seven has got no common factor, so the LCM will be sixty-three. That is nine times seven. So seven multiplied by nine and nine multiplied by seven. We'll give sixty-three at the denominator. So what is seven times four? It is twenty-eight. And nine times two is eighteen. Now we need to add what is twenty-eight over sixty-three. Add it to eighteen over sixty-three. So here sixty-three remains itself. We need to work for twenty-eight plus eighteen. So the answer is sixty-three at the bottom. So it's six. And this is four. The answer comes out to be forty-six over sixty-three. I hope this is clear. Moving ahead, it's five over seven plus one over three. So let's do it here. Five over seven, one over three. So let's convert them into equivalent fractions with same denominators. Denominator twenty-one because seven and three, the LCM is twenty-one. Okay. So now here we multiplied by three, and here we multiplied by seven. Here comes seven, and here comes fifteen. Now fifteen over twenty-one plus seven over twenty-one, we get the answer twenty-one. Fifteen plus seven, so it's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two over twenty-one. Now look at this carefully. What we have just got is a Improper fraction, right? And I hope you do remember improper fractions can be written in the mixed form. So always make sure that if you see that your answer is an improper fraction, you must convert it into a mixed fraction. Okay? So here, let's do the division. Twenty-two. Here comes the divisor that is twenty-one. So twenty-one goes into twenty-two just a single time. So here comes one, and the remainder is one. So this is remainder. This is quotient, and this is our Divisor. So, how do we write the mixed fraction? We write the quotient as first. We write the remainder on the top, and we put the divisor at the bottom. 
So this is my final answer to the given question. Clear? Moving ahead. Let's solve these two questions now. It is 2 over 5 plus 1 over 6. Again, 2 over 5, 1 over 6. We need to convert them with the LCM of 30. So here timesing it by 5 and here timesing it by 6, we get 12 over 30 and 5 over 30. Clear? Now this is 12 over 30 and this is 5 over 30. Adding them together gives 17 over 30. And this is a proper fraction as the numerator is smaller compared to denominator. So we'll keep it as it is. Okay. Coming to the next one. So it is 4 over 5. It is 2 over 3. Let's convert it to the denominator 15 because 15 is the LCM to 5 and 3 because 5 times 3 is 15. So we times this by 3 and we times this by 5 and we get here 12 over 15 and here comes 10 over 15. So now 12 over 15 plus 10 over 15 gives the answer 15 over 22. Now what do we have? We have got improper fraction. So let us convert the improper fraction to mixed number. So let's do the division. Here comes 22. Here comes 15. So 15 goes into 22 how many times? Once. Because if 15 times 2 we do, it is 30 which is bigger than 22. So 15 once. So here comes this. And what is 12 take away 5? So 12 take away 5 is... 3, 4, 5, it's a 7, right? So remainder is 7, so firstly we will keep the quotient. Then we have the remainder on the top and at the bottom we put the divisor. So this is our final answer, that is 1, 7, 4, 15, okay? Now let's do the next question. It is 3 over 4 and 1 over 3. Now this question is of subtraction. So far we have worked with the addition questions. This is subtraction question, okay? So now let's convert them. So 4 times 3 is 12. So the LCM is 12 itself. Multiplying this by 3 and multiplying this by 4. Here comes 4 and here comes 9. Now what is 9 over 12 take away 4 over 12? Simple. We just write the numerators and the denominator comes itself. And the answer comes out to be 5 over 12. I hope this is clear how we have worked out these questions of subtraction with the unlike fractions. Now, 5 over 6 and 1 over 3. First step is working out the equivalent fractions. So let's get the answers. It's 3 and it's 6. So the LCM is 6 itself. So we'll multiply this by 1 and we'll multiply this by 2. Right? So here we'll get 5 and here we'll get 2. Now let's do 5 over 6, take away 2 over 6. The answer will be 3 over 6. So it is 3 over 6. We can simplify it further. So the answer will be 1 over 2. And this is our final answer. Clear? Let's do this one. Here we have got 3 terms to be added. And we'll do it the same way. So now... Earlier we were thinking what was the LCM for those two terms that we have as the denominator. Now we need to take care of three terms. It's 3, 4 and 2. So let's find out what is the LCM of 3, 4 and 2. So let's use 2 at first. So here it will be 2, here it will be 1. Now we cannot have any number that can uh, be a common factor to them. So it's 3 times 2 is 4. I'm sorry, it's 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. So we have got the LCM of, let's write it down in a formal way, LCM of 3, 4 and 2, that we are just considering the denominators, is 12. So let us write down each of these numbers with respect to their um, LCM, right? So we need 12 at the denominator in each of these cases. Now look. We are just skipping one particular step to work out the uh, equivalent fractions 
firmly because as we practice more questions, we get a little confident. So we can directly get to the, uh, we can skip one step. It's fine because we just have to work out the equivalent fractions. And this is what the part is important. So three times what number gives 12? Three times four gives 12. So we multiply four with two. So the answer is eight. Okay. Four times what number gives 12? It is three. So three times three is nine. Two times what number gives 12? It's 6. So 6 times 1 is 6. Now we'll add 8 plus 9 plus 6 over 12. Let's do the addition. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 and uh, this 20. So it's 23 over 12. Right? So now what do you think we should do? We have got improper we have got improper fraction right so what can we do with this improper fraction do you think 23 over 12 is the final answer the answer is no we have to convert this into a mixed fraction because we have got improper fraction okay so let us work out the division part so here 23 here we have got 12 so 12 goes into 23 how many times? Just once because 12 times 2 is 24. It's just bigger than 23. So here it will be 12. Let's do the subtraction. So the answer that we get is 1. It comes at the first, the question. At the top we have got the remainder. And at the bottom we have got the divisits. So 1, 11 over 12 is the final answer to this particular given question. Now moving ahead. Here we have got... 2, 3 and 6 as the uh, um, as the denominators. So the LCM of, let's write it down. I'm just clearing it here so that we have got more space. Okay. So LCM of 2, 3 and 6 is 6. Okay. Now we need to convert these fractions with the denominator 6. So here I'm just writing 6 for all these 3 fractions, okay? So now 1 over 2. So what can I multiply with 2 to get to 6? We multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. We do the same with the numerator. So what is 1 times 3? It's 3 itself. 3 times what number gives 6? 2. So we multiply 2 by 1. So here the denominator, numerator will be 2. And finally 6 times 1 is 6. So 1 times 1 is 1. So here the answer comes out to be... 3 and 3, so it's 6 over 6. Now, 6 over 6 can be written as simple 1. So, this is our answer. Clear? Now, let's do a question of mixed fraction. Working out with mixed fractions is little much, um, like it's, uh, we have a little more work to do, but it is also simple. It's very simple. You just have to take care of taking away the whole parts together and the part of the wholes together. Okay, so how do we write the first step? We write them by separating out the numbers. So it is 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 3 plus 2 over 3. I hope this step is very much clear. We have just separated out the mixed fractions into whole and the fraction each of the part. Now, what do we do? We collect the whole parts together. So 1 plus 3 comes together and here we have got 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3. Now it's very simple. We add them. 1 over 3 is 4. I'm sorry, 1 plus 3 is 4. And here you can see that we have got like fractions. Why? Because we have got 3 at the denominator in both the case. So here comes 3 and here comes 1 plus 2. So the answer is 4 plus 3 over 3. Now what is 3 over 3? 3 over 3 is 1. So we can write this as 4 plus 3. 1. What is 4 plus 1? It is 5. So what is my answer? My final answer is 5 to this particular mixed fraction. I hope this is making more sense now. Let's do this question now again. Here the first step itself says break me down to 4 plus 2 over 3 plus 3 plus 1 over 4. Right? Now separate out the whole parts together. So it is 4 plus 3 and then we have 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Now 4 plus 3, 7 and then we have got 
2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Clearly, these two fractions, they are, um, they are not same. They are unlike fractions. So what are we going to do? We are going to make the equivalent fractions so that we get them into like fractions. So what is the um, LCM of 3 and 4? The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So we need 12 at the denominator in both the cases, right? So 3 times what number gives 12? 3 times 4 gives 12. So we multiply 2 by 4, right? So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times what number gives 12? 4 times 3 gives 12. So 1 times 3 is 3. I hope how we have worked this particular question. Do you see because earlier we were just writing the steps to get the equivalent fractions. But now because we have practiced so many questions. So it's simple that we know how we can directly jump to a particular step. I hope, but if you think you are not yet confident, make sure that you write the steps of getting the equivalent fractions clearly so that you don't go wrong with such kind of questions. These are really simple, but they need you to be a little more careful with them. Okay, so now this gives the answer as 7 plus what is 8 plus 3? 11 over 12. So now we can write this as 7, 11 over 12. This is the answer. Okay, because 11 over 12, this is a proper fraction. We cannot change it into a mixed number. So we are just keeping it as 11 over 12. Moving ahead, it is 16 over 5, take away 7 over 5. Very simple question. Why? Because the denominators are same. Isn't it really a thing of making us happy that we see the same denominators? We don't have to do anything. We just simply subtract the smaller fractions, the smaller numerator from the bigger ones, it's 16 take away 7 and we have this um, 5 at the denominator because the denominator remains at 7, right? So what is 16 take away 7? It is 9 over 5. Clear? Now, oh yes, now it is five, 9 over 5 which is a improper fraction, the numerator is bigger so we can convert it into a mixed number. So 9, here comes 5, 5 goes into 9 once and the remainder becomes 4. So we can write this as 1, 4 over 5. This is the final answer. Clear? Let's do the next one. It is 4 over 3 minus 1 over 2. We need to convert them into like fractions, right? So here... This comes out to be, uh, we have 6 as the LCM. So 3 times what number gives 6? 3 times 2 gives us 6, right? So we do the same with 4. So 3 times 2 is 8. I'm sorry, 4 times 2 is 8. What times 2 gives us 6? 2 times 3 gives us 6. So we multiply 3 with 1 as well and here we get 3 as the numerator. So what does 8 take away 3? The answer is 5 over 6. Clear? Now, let us do a word problem. This is very interesting to work with fractions when we are dealing with word problems because this gives a clear picture where do you use these kind of fractions in your daily life, okay? So it says Sarita bought 2 over 5 meter of ribbon and Lalita 3 over 4 meter of ribbon. What is the total length of the ribbon they bought? So it's a simple quest, simple question of addition. Right, let's write it down in the terms of writing the whole sentences. So it says, Sarita bought 2 over 5 meter of ribbon. Then here we have got Lalata bought 3 over 4 meters of ribbon right we need to find the total length so total length is equal to 2 over 5 plus 3 over 4 so now because 2 over 5 and 3 over 4 this is all in meter so because these two they are uh, unlike fractions so we need to work for the equivalent fractions. So let's work down the equivalent fractions. 
So clearly, five and four they have got the LCM twenty, right? So keeping twenty as the denominator, five times what number gives twenty? Five times four gives twenty. So we'll do the same with two. So what is two times four? It is eight. Four times what number gives twenty? It is five. So we do the same with the numerator. So three times five is fifteen. Now we simply add what is fifteen added to eight. So it is twenty three over twenty, right? Now what do we get? We have got a um, improper fraction. Let us convert it into a proper fraction. So twenty three we divide it by twenty. It goes once, and we are left with three as the remainder. So at the question, what do we have? At the question, we have got one. At the uh, top, we put the remainder that is three, and at the bottom, we have got twenty. So this is in. So what is the total length? One three over twenty meters is the total length of the ribbon. Is this clear? This is the final answer, right?